The killing of Cecil the Lion provoked outrage around the world. The repercussions are still dogging the life of the man who shot him. But the death of just one lion pales into insignificance compared to the havoc caused by illegal poaching all over the African continent on a daily basis. Johan Ernst Nilsson is a Swedish explorer. He's undertaken over 30 expeditions in 120 countries. But what he's doing right now? Well, he's trekking the length of the Serengeti National Park. It's a journey of 500 kilometers and he's documented documenting the damage caused by illegal poaching. We're going to show you some of his video that he's taken now, but it does contain some disturbing images. Oh. And the tusk has been cut off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. with chainsaw, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is the head. Yeah, so... Yeah, so... So this is another elephant we found dead and this is uh, uh, they've been cutting off the whole um, tusk everything um, with a chainsaw so uh, to take the tusk and the trunk yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay yeah this is only a few weeks ago so it's uh, it's not so far away so um, oof, it's very very sad yeah. Well, we can talk now to Johan Ernst Nilsson, who is on the line from the Serengeti National Park. Good to have the chance to talk to you. Quite distressing to see those scenes there of that elephant. Are you seeing things like this all the time in the Serengeti? It's, um, it's been the third elephant we've seen this far in one week. And uh, according to some numbers we found, it's 85,000 elephants have been killed in uh, six years here in Tanzania only. So uh, this walk is a mixture between um, uh, Cecil the Lion that was so um, in the media for, for some time, but also what's been going on for many, many years in terms of uh, illegal poaching. And uh, nobody can do everything, but everybody can do something. So my walk uh, through San Diego is my way of uh, giving this a little bit of a highlight as to exhibitions with our photography of these beautiful animals after this, this walk. Yeah, we're seeing some of your photography as we speak to you. You're traveling, though, with some armed guards. Have you run into any poachers yet? Has it been dangerous? Uh, no, but we've taken down 47 traps this far. And these traps are normally not for lions and leopards. They are for smaller animals. But they are big enough uh, for the lions and the leopards to get trapped in these kind of traps. Uh, so... Um, so we took down 44 or 47 traps, and uh, the military that we walked with, the rangers, they told us that probably the poachers were watching us as we did this, because they were not too far away. The government says that the country has lost 60% of its elephant population in the last five years. Why do you think poaching on such an industrial scale as this is not being tackled more aggressively? Well, I think it's, uh, it's politics, reg regulations, and money. I think it's a lot of money in this. And uh, this is uh, one of the major reasons why people are doing it. Not only uh, the people buying it, but also um, the poverty in these countries. Uh, selling a few tusks will be uh, the same as maybe working as a farmer for a few years. So uh, it has to be um, work in, on both sides, first in the countries, but also... Um, taking away the demand for uh, elephant, uh, uh, elephant tusks and, um, and the rhino horns as well. Johan, thanks so much for joining us. Good luck with the rest of your walk. I hope we can catch up with you when, when you're finished.